Elizabeth Colbert Bush is Stephen Colbert's sister. She's running against Mark Sanford in South Carolina's first district. So what's fascinating about this is that other than Elizabeth Colbert's sister running for office, which is just interesting, uh, Mark Sanford, of course, was in Congress previously. He was also the governor of South Carolina. He's notorious for disappearing. Now, when he disappeared, you know what his response was? Yeah, you know, it's cool, it's cool. I'm on the uh, Appalachian Trail hiking. In reality, what, what did he do? He hopped a plane to Argentina to see his mistress. Uh, I believe we had some heated uh, emails that we saw between the two of them where it's all about lovey-dovey, like they're sixth graders in love. Now, uh, it's always amazing, man, because there's some people who just come back from a, a political situation like that. He disappeared for a week. You're, if you're a governor, you can't just leave for a week and not tell anybody where you're going. That's flat out unacceptable. And then on top of that, this son of a bitch used uh, taxpayer money when he went to Argentina. You can't do that. And think about Newt Gingrich. Newt Gingrich uh, left his, his wife when she was on her cancer bed in the hospital. Served her papers. Here, honey, we're done. She had cancer. I mean, she needs support. What are you, crazy? He left another wife. So all this, all family values, family values, family values. They don't believe in family values. But they made political rebounds. Newt Gingrich was leading the Republican primary at one point in 2008. Or was it 2012? 2012, I think. How are you going to lead the Republican primary? You violate your own principles and your own values. Sanford, same thing. He won the fucking primary. What happened to family values? I thought it was all family values and fiscal responsibility. Is fiscal responsibility paying to see your Argentinian mistress with hard-earned taxpayer money? Uh, come on, man. It's just sad. It's nonsense. It's bullshit. And then, of course, on the Democratic side, when somebody commits uh, something like that, they're, they don't, they're not allowed to come back, right? John Edwards uh, cheated on his cancer-having uh, wife, and he's done. He has, like, the lowest approval rating ever. New Gingrich did the same thing. Nope, he's allowed to come back and run for president and lead the primary. I'll never understand the way it works. It appears as if it's whenever the Republicans say, talk about Jesus. Oh, Jesus was the one who saved me. That's why I get to be your governor again or your representative. So vote for me. Democrats don't use the bullshit line, so they don't get reelected. Amazing the way it works. Well, listen to Colbert Bush brought this up in the debate. Listen, listen to the audience reaction. That's the most telling part to me, and then we'll talk. When we talk about fiscal spending and we talk about protecting the taxpayers, it doesn't mean you take that money we saved and leave the country for a personal purpose. She went there, Governor Sanford. I couldn't hear what she said. Governor Sanford, you, when you were in Congress running, you voted for the Defense of Marriage Act and to impeach President Clinton for an extramarital affair. Would you vote those ways again? Well, I, I, I would reverse the question to you. And I would say this. Do you think that President Clinton should be condemned for the rest of his life based on a mistake that he made in his life? Man, that is so depressing. No, 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 no. Colbert Bush's point was only the most irrefutable thing I've ever heard. She said, look, you can't talk about fiscal responsibility. You took taxpayer money and used it for your personal reasons to fly to Argentina to see your goddamn mistress to cheat on your wife. And there were some people that booed her. You're going to boo that point? You're booing the fact. You're booing reality. You're not booing Colbert Bush. You're booing the fucking person you want to vote for if you're booing that. And then I love the way he, typical politician's answer. Hey, you know, Mark Sanford, you voted against the Defense of Marriage Act. Meanwhile, who's really not defending marriage? You, because you cheated on your wife. You can't defend marriage. You're the last person who could talk about defending marriage. That's point number one. Point number two, uh, you voted to impeach Bill Clinton when he cheated on his wife. You did the same goddamn thing. You vote for impeachment when it's him, but it's okay when you do it? Or you want redemption, you want to be allowed back in the political scene? And he, he tries to flip the question. Well, should he, should he be punished his entire life? Hmm. No, you schmuck. The issue in question is your hypocrisy and the double standard. 
and how if anybody else does it, they're wrong and they're not in favor of family values, but when you do it, oh, please give me another chance. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. And by the way, uh, last thing on this, Colbert Bush, again, the point that she made, if you actually are a fiscal conservative, you can't vote for Mark Sanford. End of discussion. End of discussion. Because of how he spent the taxpayer money, you can't do it. You can't do it. So anybody who would boo what she's saying is beyond help. You can't reason with them. There's no logic that'll get into their mind. There's no rationality here. It's just, I am a partisan hack. So if you say something against my boy, I'll be like, oh, like an otter, a seal. Oh, I don't like it. Oh.